Soundstripe. Hello, welcome to the Mitchell Tech SCADA YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial over the SRB C44 safety relay. First, I'm going to cover the manual. I got all of the information to wire this up from this manual. I will leave a link in the description if you want to look at it yourself. To begin, I'm going to go to page 10. This is where the SRBC44 can be found. On this first page, you can see all of the features that this safety relay has, as well as a front view and some quick specifications of the safety relay. On to the next page. This is the main wiring diagram. This is the diagram that I'm going to use to wire up this relay. On this page, you can also find the big list of specifications. And after that is just a bunch of different ways you can wire up this relay, but I did not use those. And that is all you need from the manual. The first step that I did was create a CAD drawing. This made it easier for me to wire up this safety relay. I followed the same diagram that I showed in the manual before. Now if we move up here you can see the safety relay. On the left is DC common and on the right is 24 volts VCD. A2 gets DC common and A1 gets 24 volts. X2 will get connected through a open reset button. This will go back to X1. This e-stop must be redundant so the open will go through S13 and 14 and the close will go through S21 and 22. Moving on 13, 23, and 33 will all go back to 24 volts. 14 and 24 will get connected to their own ice cube relays. These are K1 and K2 and these will be used to monitor the status of this relay. An example of how I use this is I used an open from each of these relays to monitor the safety. Here is the physical safety relay wired up. Blue wires are 24 volts VCD coming from a power supply and the red wires are DC common. Here are the relays that I used. These are K1 and K2 and are used to monitor the status. As I press the reset button, these turn on, and once I press the e-stop, they will turn off. And here is the safety relay working. Once I press the reset, this will turn the relays on. Once I press the e-stop, this will turn them off. And that is how you use this safety relay. Hopefully this video helped you. Goodbye.